it's Richie from Hydrovane. Uh, today we're going to go over the correct orientation for the hinged H bracket. Now this is going to be different depending on if it's the lower bracket in your mount or the upper bracket in your mount, so I'm going to go one at a time through both of them. For option one, when it's the lower mount, uh, you have the hinged H bracket. In a typical installation, you'll want to have the shaft clamp sitting below your transom flange. And what this does is it helps support the lower area of the shaft and spread out the two bracketing points to help balance the loads of the unit. The one exception to this is going to be when you have a very low mounted H bracket. Because you always want to have two inches from your bottom bearing, this lip here where you can see the white bottom bearing poking out, to the bottom of the H shaft clamp, you want to have two inches or five centimeters. In this situation, as you can see here, if you had a really low mounting point for the H bracket, you can flip it around to make sure you still have that two inch distance or five centimeter distance and you're not going to be pinching that bearing inside the shaft tube and adding friction to your system. Option two would be when you have your hinged H bracket as the upper mount. In this situation, you want to do the opposite. You want to have the shaft clamp be above your transom flange. What this is going to do is the same way it's going to spread out the two bracketing points on the shaft, and it's going to help support that top section where that heavy drive unit is sitting.